A front-wheel drive car is rather a common layout today, but the one with the engine mounted longitudinally is a rarity, similarly to a rear mounted engine. Such an automobile can be recognized by a long and possibly higher hood, as there is a transaxle gearbox with a differential going backwards to the front to power the front wheels. As you don't see these often, let me introduce you some of the less common cars with this layout. Honda Vigo The Honda Vigo as well as the Inspire, Rafaga and Escort were using two 5 cylinders back in the 90s, which is not a usual engine layout for Honda. In all examples, the engine was also mounted longitudinally, with a transaxle powering the front wheels. The Vigo was based on the Accord, only as an upmarket version with a cooler engine. Renault Fuego The Renault Fuego comes from the times when Renault sold some cars on the US market. They all were marketed by AMC, and this one was a sport compact model with various power plants. From a 64 horsepower 1.4 litre to a 2.2 litre, there was also a turbo diesel variant supposedly being the fastest diesel car back in time, with a top speed of 180 km per hour. The turbo petrol Fuego was basically a rival to the base Porsche 924. Citroen SM Since 1968, Maserati got under control of Citroen, which basically took a Maserati front-wheel drive platform with a V6 engine and stuck an incredibly long body on it with a hydropneumatic system. This system was used for brakes, speed-sensitive power steering and also self-leveling suspension. It won a 1972 Motor Trend Car of the Year and was third 1971 EcoT, with a winner being its smaller GS sibling. Saab 900 Turbo Saab was always different than others, but this 900 model was more unique than any car on this list. The thing is that just like its predecessor, the 99, this Swedish Pride was powered by a 4 cylinder mounted backwards with a clutch in front of the car. With that, the gearbox was placed directly under the engine, also creating its oil pan. Both devices, however, had divided lubrication systems. Oldsmobile Toronado Being one of the first US front-wheel drive cars since 1937, the Toronado was always a front-wheel drive car and it kept using the longitudinal engine layout until its third generation. It was also quite powerful with a 7.5 litre in the front with around 400 horsepower. It had a special tyre compound by Firestone and was able to reach 217 km per hour. It was proclaimed for a third 1966 European car of the year. Cadillac Eldorado 500 
An 8.2 litre engine in a front wheel drive car is ridiculous, but that's what really happened with the 6th gen Eldorado in 1970. It had roughly the same output as the Toronado, but the body was even bigger with a length of 5600mm. This model was surprisingly successful with 3 times the sales of the previous Eldorado. Alfa Romeo 43. When a boxer powered car is mentioned, I bet Porsche or Subaru is immediately on your mind. Only Subaru of the two was front engine and they also had some front wheel drive cars, like Impreza or SVX. Other than that, the Alfa Romeo 43 is one of them too, with a 4 cylinder boxer engine and in case of the 16 valve, even with ITBs. Triumph 1300 Triumph is a small underrated car company which is known especially for little sports cars. Their ordinary vehicles may not be interesting to an average petrol head, but this 1300 has a unique feature, the front longitudinally mounted engine front wheel drive layout. Back in time it competed on the market with the Mini. Audi Coupe GT Audi is renowned for their front mounted engine completely in front of the front axle. It is no surprise then that they like to make front wheel drive cars as it is cheaper with zero f given how the car eventually drives. There are lots of such Audis, for example all non quattro A4, A6 and A8 use this layout as do the Audi Coupe GT or Audi V8, the A8 predecessor. Tonus P4. Whether you call it a P4 or 12M, it was the same car made in Belgium and Germany. It was sold as a coupe, sedan, station wagon, cabriolet and also a free door sedan delivery, all of them only using a Tonus V4 unit. As it was a longitudinally mounted engine, the layout resembled the Lancia Fulvia, which is also a front wheel drive car. The engine debuted in the sky in 1962. Thank you.